Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another crypto video. As always, it is Nick here back with your daily crypto content. I hope everybody's having a great day or a great night wherever you guys are. I uh, hope everybody's going to be having a great weekend as we are ranging to get into the Saturday. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we're going to be analyzing the market all day kind of today. Um, but I do want to talk to you guys more so about some news regarding Hedera Hashgraph. Uh, I actually just uploaded a video regarding some other news regarding uh, HBAR. I don't want to make these videos extremely long, so I try to make them at least like, you know, under 15 minutes. Um, but we have some exciting news coming from Ping Identity. Now, this is from yesterday. Uh, as you guys know, I was pretty much, uh, I took off yesterday, uh, kind of just, you know, disconnected a little bit, but I still got content out for you guys. Um, but we do see uh, Ping Identity basically shouted out Hedera Hashgraph. Now, I do know there was a lot of concerns around this partnership. They were saying, well, no, they're not utilizing Hedera fully here or, you know, none of their stuff is powered by Hedera. Well, I just want to say you guys are proved wrong. We do see here uh, at Ping, we're taking the lead to ensure everyone has complete ownership of their own data with our new personal uh, identity capabilities. Get show card and Ping one for individuals, both powered by Hedera Public Ledger. And... I just want to say this is not the first uh, partnership where a lot of individuals are saying, well, none of the products are actually powered by Hedera or like this, you know, partnership doesn't have any, um, you know, projects out uh, or live, I should say. And this is really going to show us, you know, that a lot of these companies that are partnered with Hedera are still building. It's just they're building behind closed doors. I mean, a lot of their stuff is under an NDA, I would have to assume at least. Um, so a lot of the stuff that we're seeing, you know, is most likely getting approved by a legal team and then they could basically talk about it. Um, but we do know that this is identity uh, security for a global enterprise use case. So this is extremely huge. Uh, I, I even mentioned how massive the ping identity partnership was uh, originally, but I hope that, you know, this kind of clears up the air for those who were wondering what is going to basically be built on Ping Identity and how is Hedera basically going to power it. So there you go. Um, next, I want to talk about this article here. Again, this is posted from yesterday. We do see Coinbase pushing to add as many crypto assets as possible. These old coins could soon launch on the exchange. Now, it doesn't really give us uh, too many names, but we do see here HBAR is listed. Um, now, these are the ones that are not debuted on Coinbase are under uh, and are under consideration as well. Now, this doesn't mean that it's going to exactly be listed. It doesn't you know, confirm anything about it. Now, if we look here, we do see outside of our listing standards for safety and legality, uh, we don't offer an opinion on the value of each asset. We are an asset ag agnostic, sorry, because we believe in free markets and that consumers should have the choice in the crypto, current, uh, crypto economy. This is how we'll have the most innovation. Now, when we talk about this, they want to list every asset as where it is legal to do so. And I think that Hedera Hashgraph, <laughs> out of this entire list, to be completely honest with you guys, um, is the only one that's truly uh, compliant with regulators. And it, I think that it's honestly one of the best choices uh, for a listing that Coinbase has ever seen, to be completely honest with you guys. Now, we do see here Armstrong says Coinbase has taken a close look at more than 100 altcoins as it assesses the crypto landscape. Uh, I just want to say, you know, they will definitely look at the fact that this has a ton ton of social support uh now i know that a lot of people don't you know think that that's a big deal or anything like that where there's a lot of hype behind an asset um but it truly is huge especially when we look at the fact that they are collecting fees on every transaction so this will acquire a lot of revenue for them uh so i definitely think that hedera would be out of this list here and i know that i'm gonna hurt a lot of people especially those that are invested in v chain and stuff I, I think Hedera Hashgraph is the best choice out of all of these. But I also want to talk to you guys a little bit about this. Now, this is talking about JP Morgan. First off, shout out to Barbarian. Uh, and this is saying JP Morgan says Ethereum upgrades could jumpstart $40 billion staking industry. Now, I just want to say that we, we see, we see uh, two analysts uh, from JP Morgan that 
uh, is blockchains running uh, more energy efficient networks than Bitcoin and Ethereum increase in popularity. A new way to make money called staking will gain traction as a source of revenue for institutional and retail investors alike. This is the big key component here um, because in my last video, I just talked about how staking is coming to Hedera Hashgraph's uh, network in 2021 uh, in the next three to six months overall. And I just want to say, I mean, this will be huge for HBAR. It truly will. And I think that at some point in time, we're going to see massive institutional and enterprise adoption happening for HBAR. Um, I am long term on Hedera. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm not selling any, because trust me, when profit's there, I'm going to take profit, because if I don't, the market will. And I extremely am bullish on the fact that staking is coming in 2021 because I was not under the assumption and I'm s sure anybody else uh, will say that, you know, they weren't expecting it either in 2021 because it, there was never a date for it. It was always coming soon. And we actually discussed this even in my discord. We had a little brief conversation on it uh, where a lot of pe people were saying, you know, we're probably going to have to wait until 2022, 2023, maybe. Uh, and we were also discussing, you know, what the percentages would be like. But this is huge, especially for, uh, like they said, institutional and retail investors, because it does grab a large crowd of individuals. This will also incite the fact that Coinbase could possibly, uh, you know, really list HBAR once that actually happens, because guess what? It also allows for more holders to be holding on the exchange, uh, which would then obviously generate more and more income, uh, which would help both the investor and the exchange overall. Now, I do want to also talk to you guys a little bit about this, um, or this was actually that article. Uh, I just want to break down a little bit about what is actually happening here. So uh, we do see Ethereum is switching from proof of work to proof of stake. Proof of stake is still kind of like proof of work. It's kind of outdated overall. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. But what I want to talk about is the fact that staking today generates an estimated $9 billion worth of revenue annually for the crypto industry. Uh, we do see that Ethereum 2.0 <clears throat> could cause staking payouts to balloon to $20 billion in the quarters following the launch of Ethereum 2.0 and $40 billion by 2025. This is what I was talking about in terms of, you know, we do see these massive, you know, awards, if you will, um, incentivizing all the way up to like 8% plus. Like even for an example, Algo on Coinbase, uh, you could get pretty much almost like 7%, I believe, for staking it. That is why even we see down here, the report's authors predicted that staking will become a growing source of income for cryptocurrency intermediaries like Coinbase. So when we talk about that, um, you know, we see that the fact that $200 million of revenue uh, for Coinbase in staking is in 2022, uh, up from $10.4 million in 2020. That is why I think that, you know, the incentivizing of staking for Hedera Hashgraph coming in 2021, uh, not only for institution and retail investors that are trying to, you know, get this into fruition, if you will, um, but it's also good for Coinbase. And I think that a Coinbase listing for Hedera would be massive for both uh, Coinbase and also the investors aside. So last but not least, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this. This kind of goes in depth on why I think that, you know, when we look at enterprise and institutions, uh, they are adopting crypto at a massive rate. I'm telling you guys, this is only the beginning. So first off, I, I told you guys that I don't really like uh, Cardano. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't hold any of it. We already kind of dumbed down the fact that, you know, I think that it's overvalued compared to Hedera Hashgraph. Um, again, I, I, I'm not mad at anybody making money off of it. Trust me, I, it doesn't matter to me. I'm happy to see anybody kind of thriving in this market, especially uh, financially. But we do see they are welcoming them aboard. Uh, this actually became their third largest holding, if we actually see here. Uh, they're currently about 4.26% um, of uh, Cardano. Now, I kind of said that we could possibly see them uh, really kind of bringing in HBAR as well. Because even if you look here, you know, we see Chainlink, right? Chainlink's already on here and Chainlink is a direct partner with them. Now, of course, it's not a massive percentage because Bitcoin is their largest holding. Um, but I do think the fact that, you know, Cardano making up almost 
<clears throat> I think that at some point in time, we could definitely see Hedera Hashgraph on here. Uh, I think that would be great, and we actually see that even here. Now, I think, and, and a lot of people will speculate and say, um, you know, that they'll never hold HBAR or whatever the case may be, but when we look at the statistics, the statistics don't lie. You know, I, Hedera is outscaling pretty much every asset in this space, um, especially all the DLTs. All the DLT technology out there, um, you know, they're doing about give or take 6,000 uh, transactions per second. Uh, you have, you know, XRP doing 65,000 transactions per second. You know, ADA is, we already kind of dumbed it down, but they're only doing about 7,000 transactions per day, not per second, but per day. They need to rely on smart contracts. Hedera Hashgraph is actually eliminating smart contracts, and you don't need smart contracts to run anything on Hedera's network. And once sharding is impl uh, implemented, which you could say, yeah, they need you know sharding, whatever. Doesn't matter. Once that's implemented, it's unlimited transactions per second, and they're already doing 10,000 plus transactions per second with the possibility of 500,000 plus being. Uh, in store right now it's just that they don't utilize it because they would only have to be running one node uh, but to run one node it's not secure enough for their liking so uh, let me know what you guys think I think that grayscale will definitely hold HBAR at some point in time I think coinbase it, it, it would be stupid of them to not list you know HBAR at some point in time here soon uh, so I definitely see us kind of ranging to um, Get some more and more money to flow in and more volume and guess what that means for the price you know obviously we'll drive it up so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below um as always if you guys do want more free content you guys can follow me on twitter at ncash official you guys can always join the discord down in the description below for free as always i hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world this has been nick peace out